What's up guys, Cornelius Franklin here, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to mix multiple versions of yourselves into a photo. So let's get started. Today we're gonna to be showing you a really simple way of doing it. Um, there are some different ways which I use to take this photo, but today we're gonna to show you a simple way using just the erase tool, which I use to take this photo here. So, first thing you're gonna to want to do is make sure that you have taken those photos on a tripod, although the method that we're gonna show you to align them to start with actually means you can, as long as you stay in pretty much the same place, really still, you can do it handheld. Uh, the photos we used for this here were actually taken on the Ronin S, we just set down in kind of tripod mode, and the camera did move slightly between images. But that's okay, because we're gonna show you how to fix that. So, in Affinity Photo, you're gonna to go to File, and new stack, open this higher up and click add. You're gonna just get, navigate to wherever you have your photos, select them all and click choose open. And then we're gonna make sure that we have this set to align images perspective and okay. This here is gonna import those images and create a new stack and it's gonna have all those images. So first of all, there is no versions of myself because what it has done is it is currently set to minimize, which means it's gonna remove anything that isn't in any photo. So you can actually use this here if you don't want anybody to be in any of your photos, if you wanna get rid of a whole crowd of people, you can actually take multiple photos and then use this tool. But all we were using it for is to actually align the photos to make sure that they're all kind of nicely aligned with each other because we didn't take it on a tripod. So now we have our photos all aligned. What we want to do is figure out, okay, so this photo here with me sh pointing, shouting fire, that one's on top. What we're gonna want to do with this one here is we're just gonna reduce the opacity down to about 50% and we can see the second photo in the line. So with the top photo selected, you're gonna go and choose the eraser tool. And hardness is set at 100%. We're gonna just drop that down a little bit kind of soften the edges if the aligning didn't work 100%. And zoom in here and get to work. So all you're gonna do is basically use this tool here to brush over anything that has person underneath it in, just to make sure that they show up in the photos, kind of things which they're reacting to. Brilliant. Okay, now what you're gonna to want to do is go to your second photo in your stack and reduce that one's opacity again to 50% and then select both of these ones here down by holding down shift, you can select multiple layers. And here we're going to use again the eraser tool just to remove the other versions. Okay. So I think that's pretty much all we've got to do. And take these opacities all the way back up to 100%. And there you have kind of the mixing of the photos now. Everything else with this photo we did uh, is just kind of extra artistical flair. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is side click in the layers panel and go down to merge visible. This is gonna merge all of the three of those layers into one visible layer, and then the rest is kind of artistical flesh. So we're just gonna go and add a couple of edits, kind of finish this photo up. So there you have the finished image. Basically all we did was we went and added a muzzle flash for the cannon and uh, a little bit of smoke effects as well. Um, basically once you've actually merged those three images, it's just like editing a single image. So yeah, you can do any kind of adjustment that you would do on a regular image. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. We have videos coming out every single week on different filmmaking, cinematography, all that good stuff. So consider hitting that subscribe button and drop a comment down below if you have any questions on kind of filming cinematography. See you guys next time.